So hi guys, this is um, Hank the Tank. If you're new to the channel, you haven't seen him before, please subscribe. Uh, hit on the uh, like for us if you can, that'd be great. That's if you like the video or not. So there's a few videos I've put together now, guys, from when I first had Tank. He's, um, he's four years old in Jan. He's growing super fast. Um, got a really nice, nice coat. Nice, soft, silky coat. Um, that's down to all the salmon oil and sardines. And um, and yeah, I've got him on joint side again. I've just run out of salmon oil, but um, this stuff's really good. And this is milk today, today, guys. So we've got a piece of bream, one pound sixty for Mazda. Uh, lamb's heart and some minced lamb, and uh, a chicken egg. So he has different veg, fruits, um, and I also use the yogurt. In fact, we'll get that out, guys, and we'll give him a spoonful of yogurt in a bit with. Uh, with an apple and a banana after his tea. But yeah, guys, like I say, he's four years old now. I haven't, been on a, I haven't done any uh, videos, any uploads for um, a few weeks now. It's just been really, really busy with work and, and one thing and another, so yeah. But guys, if you need to know anything, if there's any advice I can give you on owning a Mastiff, whether it be an English Mastiff, um, a Borbal, which is Ankh, the South African Mastiff, or uh, any other dog, really, um, diet, cleaning ears, um, as you can see, just a quick one. Come here, Hank. Hank's ears are really good now. Um, got them well cleaned out. What I've been using, guys, is I've tried a few different things. Um, that one there isn't too bad. Just cleaned them yesterday. Come here, Hank. Stay there. Stay there. Just cleaned them yesterday. Um, what I've been using as well is a little bit of witch hazel to make him smell nice because he's had a little bit of a yeasty issue. So, um, yeah, guys, so... I've run out of salmon oil, but what I do do is I'll get some salmon oil, and he normally has his salmon oil of the morning with two scoops, two scoops of joint aid. If you can see that down there, guys. So this is what they use on, um, on horses as well, rice horses, it's really good stuff. We get joint aid for humans as well. So this will help with any uh, joint issues any ligaments issues, any tears, um, and hopefully prevent him and, um, oh yeah, prevent him having any joint issues and uh, any costs backwards and forwards from the vets in, uh, in a few years to come. But like I say, he's four years old now. Um, and I was told sort of two years ago that he was gonna need an ear. Um, before the Christmas, the vet said it wouldn't last till Christmas. And that was, that was two years ago, but I've had him in hydro. He hasn't been for about 13 months but I've got him booked in again for Jan and I just think it's an ongoing process really that they need the supplements they need good diets um, good exercise and um, and the hydro hydro therapy as well um, I've got him I've got him on the uh, insurance and the insurance are paying that as part of just like, like an ongoing an ongoing uh, yeah, just like an ongoing exercise and, and prevention of uh, any joints. I just want to build all the back muscles up on the back legs here as much as I can to protect his hips. We've also been using turmeric, golden paste, but what I've done now is I've come away from the Akana um, and I've gone for about £13 more on an 11 kilo um, sack, but it's really good, good quality stuff. He loves it as well. Um, I've read up on kibble a hell of a lot and the way I'm getting it is the Oregon is the best kibble um, to feed. It's a bit dirty on top of there guys but I've got to get some stands. He broke his stand the other day and I just drop his food on there and water on there. So the morning I'll have, he'll have the kibble. I only sort of like two cups of that. I don't give him too much of it and this is his main meal of the night time. So you know I've been blending fridge. I've been blending fruits and I've also started giving him the yogurt because he was having a few, couple of hives on the top of his head and lumps on his eyebrows. He's not interested in coming to me because he's hungry. And his eyebrows there. Um, but this, this builds up the immune system. It's just um, fat free, natural yogurt, uh, free range. He loves that and it's really good for him. So, so yeah guys, I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update on Hank. He's looking pretty good, as you can see. I'm trying to slim him down just a little bit. Um, he's out having longer exercise now, longer walks. We're out for sort of about an hour at a time. 
So I've got him booked in uh, on the 3rd of Jan for intense hard for that pay again. It's not, it's not that he's desperate for it or anything else, but I just want to make sure that uh, that we've got every chance of keeping him as fit and strong and his joints as, uh, and his hips as, as good as we possibly can um, and get as long as I possibly can out of him. So he's a really happy dog. And yank. And he's got such an amazing temperament as well, guys. He's one of the friendliest dogs I've ever come across. Yeah. So, yeah, just thought I'd put this video out there quick, guys. Like I so, say, if you need to know anything, um, any air cleaning remedies, anything that you need to know, give us a shout. Cleaning paws, um, diet um, plans, uh, anything that's going to keep you away from the vets, keep you away from spending silly money with the vets because we all know what vets are about. I don't get on with vets personally. Um, they don't agree with raw diets. They only agree with kibble. <clears throat> but I've always given Hank both. He asks, like I say, he obviously it's kibble of the morning. And he has his roar of a night. So that way they are covering every single aspect really. Um, yeah, and he has, he has his chickens and he's got a bone down there somewhere. And what I do do, guys, as well, what I think about it is, if you look down there, all the marrow bone's gone because I scrape it all out the, out the bones and I put it in with his male as well. It's just about taking time, really. If you can own one of these giant breeds, you've got to get the diet right. Um, yeah. And it's down to yourselves to have, you know, it's a, they're a big responsibility. So I love my dog. Um, you know, he's my best friend. So I want to make sure he's got, gets the longest life and uh, he's as healthy as he possibly can. And he's as happy, happy as he possibly can. So, yeah. So watch, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you need any advice, like I say, um, give us a shout, anything whatsoever. And um, smash that like button and uh, hit on the subscribe and the notifications bell and uh, I'll try and get some more videos up over the Christmas period while we're out and about. So yeah, thanks a lot guys. Um, over and out, see you soon. Bye bye.